you are like me then the day just seems to run away from you and then at the end all you're ready to do is fall into bed and then get up and do it all again the next day. You spend so much time looking after others and just going through the motions and taking care of all your responsibilities. You barely have time to blink. Never mind stop to rest and recharge. So here is how to look after yourself when you are low on time. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and I help busy people get organized, get motivated and get rested. This video is a collab with the hilarious and talented Catherine from Dainty Diaries. She is a fellow Irish woman and lads, if you like my accent, you're gonna love hers. She has a DIY channel that is all about like upcycling and making the most of what you have on hand. She also just generally talks about how to be a strong, independent woman and cats. She has cats, so that's me sold. She is going to be sharing extra self-care tips. Mine are for when you're low on time, hers are for when you're low on money. I will link hers below. One, build a blanket fort. Doesn't necessarily need to be a blanket fort, though why wouldn't you? But just a cozy corner in your home. Set yourself up a little nook and put some of your favorite things there. A warm blanket, fluffy socks, a lamp or a candle, a book or a stack of magazines, some snacks, etc. And the best part is that once it's all set up, it is ready and waiting for you forever. Anytime you have got a few spare minutes, you won't have to, you know, move a pile of clothes from a chair or go and find yourself somewhere comfortable and warm to curl up. You will already be good to go. Did I mention the snacks? Two, get glam. Get up just a few minutes earlier in the morning and use that time to make yourself feel great for the day. Choose something that you love to wear. Maybe slip on some matching underwear. Guaranteed to make you feel like a grown-up, she says, while wearing granny pants on a sports bra. <laughs> Spend a small bit of extra time, you know, doing your hair or your makeup or whatever. Not for anyone else, just so you feel extra special. Three, plant some seeds. I went back and forth on this one for a long time because I have the world's blackest thumbs. But here we are. Pick up some seeds the next time you are at the store and then plant them. Give them the kind of care and attention that I never do and watch them grow. It is stupidly exciting when you wake up one morning and you see tiny little shoots and then every day watching them grow taller and taller. And it can become almost a meditative practice every time you water them. Just taking a moment to take care of something else. Something that isn't going to be hanging off your leg all day or throwing a temper tantrum in the middle of a store, demanding the tens of thousands of dollars and then fecking off and leaving you for college a few years later. Though thankfully, I have done a much better job of keeping my daughter alive than any plant that has had the misfortune to cross my path. I'm sure you'll fare much better. Or put new bedclothes on your bed. Either buy new ones if you're due an upgrade or just wash the ones you have. Maybe spritz some lavender scent on your pillow, leave a little chocolate there, you know, eye mask, bottle of water. Basically pretend your bedroom is a hotel room. Then slip in between the freshly washed sheets and sleep like a baby. Or as best as you can. Five. Use the fancy pen. Or the dishes that you save for dinner parties. Or those expensive candles in the shape of unicorns. We all have the things that we save for a special occasion. But sometimes the special occasion is just that you want to feel better. You want to cheer yourself up. You need to elevate yourself out of the everyday. Give yourself a little bit of a lift. So go ahead and use the things that you have been saving up. You know, whip out that fancy fountain pen. Maybe write your friend a letter. Or use that expensive crystal bowl and make yourself some trifle. And then eat it straight from the bowl with a big spoon because you're fancy, but you're also human. Six, <laughs> subscribe. 
to this channel. Literally takes a second and then every week you will be notified of a new video that will help you to live a simpler, happier life. Seven, plan your ideal day. But keep it within the confines of reality. Yes, you might want to travel the world solo, but your spouse and your kids might have something to say about that. But given your current situation, what is the best that you could make of it? If you had the perfect day this week, what would it look like? Write it all down or imagine it in as much detail as you can. So what would you be wearing? What kind of tasks would you be doing? How would you feel? Um, who would be involved in it? What kind of foods would you be eating, etc. That alone is usually enough to get me up and moving again because I realize that with just a small amount of effort on my part, I can actually have a great day. It doesn't require me to win the lottery or to become this completely new, different person, but I can have a great day just as I am. And then list some little ways that you can make it happen. So maybe you want to do some stretching first thing in the morning. All you have to do is set your alarm for five or 10 minutes earlier so you can do that. If it includes a certain food, write it on your shopping list. If it involves a certain person, call them up and arrange to meet. If it is a day with no laundry, then get folding now and get that one done and out of the way. You would be surprised by how many elements of your day that you have control over. And sometimes even just realizing that will make you feel a million times better. Eight, get crafty. There is something so satisfying about making and creating something yourself especially if it's something you've never done before because then your brain is really engaged you know you have to be hyper focused and time will just seem to fly by maybe you want to start a scrapbook so you print out some pictures maybe you just want to hang a picture that you've had lying around for a while maybe it's a new recipe that you want to try godspeed to you because i can barely boil an egg if you are just not sure what to do, then Catherine has lots of great DIYs on her channel. Everything from like beginner's sewing lessons, you know, little things that you can sew yourself, to cute little pieces of decor that you can make yourself, and upcycling, you know, old furniture or old storage tubs and making things look like new. Watch one of her videos, you will get loads of ideas and you can just follow along. It is inspiration for your eyeballs. And like I said, she has a video with lots of free things that you can do to make yourself feel good. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and then head over and check out Dainty Diaries. Until then, gareb mi lumahagweb. Agus mekimishif shikalua. Sloan.